Hello guys, welcome back to a new video by La Valeur Absolue. Uh, اليوم الفيديو متاعنا باش يعلمنا شوية من لا برونونسياسيون انجليز دونك نتعلمو مع بعضنا كيفاش ننطقو uh, كتبنا لكم قصة من باي لا فالور ابسولو uh, اسمها ذا ستاب ماذر هذي البارت وان نتاعها دونك باش نبداو فيها ماذا بيا تبعو بالكدا بالكدا وتحاولو تركزو مع اي كلمة باش تشوفو النطق uh, نتاعي دونك قبل ما نبداو الفيديو دونت فرغات تو سبسكرايب لايك اور فيديو اند شير ات ان يور فيسبوك بيج Let's start. Once upon a time, there was a wooden house in a very large forest. In this house lived a small, beautiful family. They were very happy because of the love and tender that they shared. Every day, the two kids go to school while the mother stay at home to make a lovely dinner for her kind husband, Ali, and her beautiful children, Jasmine and Sammy. All of the family members were having a very wonderful time with their parents. The kids used to love and respect each other. They played together and they were always helpful. The father used to travel a lot because of his work as a trader. Most of the time he's always traveling from town to town and from country to another. But this wasn't a great problem for his children because they knew that their father had to work to bring them all what they need. Fortunately, whenever he comes back, he brings them lots of chocolates and sweet little toys. They feel excited whenever they hear the knocking because they knew that there will be a lot of gifts behind that door. The mother was very beautiful and elegant. She wasn't that rich. Her father was a farmer and her mother was a housekeeper. but she loved to sew dresses by her own. That's why she wore gorgeous things. Besides, she loved light colors and London-style hats. The mother's name was Susie. She was like a red flower flushing out of the most beautiful garden at all. Her kids loved her enormously because she gave them more than the love they need and she protected them from every horrible thing that can hurt them. Every night, when the kids go to bed, she sings a very beautiful song. I bet every kid around the world heard the bit. But none of them had the chance to enjoy the tone of her voice, none but her kids. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if the mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring, and if that diamond ring is brass, Papa's gonna buy you a looking glass, and if that looking glass gets broke, Papa's gonna buy you a belly goat, and if that belly goat don't fall, Papa's gonna buy you a cardam ball, and if that cardam ball turn over, Papa's gonna buy you a dog called Trover, and if that dog called Trover don't bark, Papa's gonna buy you a horse and cart, and if that horse and cart turn round, you'll still be the sweetest little babe in town. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. The mother's voice was angelic. and they didn't know that they were going to miss it forever. The winter came loaded by sad news and horrible pain. Susie had to suffer from a dangerous disease that led, her to, that led to her death. She left her kids alone with their father, who barely spoke a word after realizing that life is no longer bearable. When songs used to fill the house by joy and happiness, now there will be only grief and sorrow. When the breezes of the sun used to raid the windows and shine inside the whole house, now there will be shadows of darkness and storms of cold that hide in every corner. Sammy speaks. The weather seemed colder, and all of the nights seemed darker than before. I didn't know if everything was looking sad or it's just me that I'm seeing things like that. Since my mom left, Things have started to look very different than the way it actually was. 
I couldn't let myself be swallowed by grief, because after all, I am the man of the house, and I had to take care of my sister Jasmine. The thing that made me feel terrible is that Dad is no longer the man I knew. He is sad all the time, and he doesn't speak to, one, to none of us, although we needed him in this kind of catastrophe. But unfortunately, my mom's death has to made us face two losses, hers and my dad. Jasmine speaks. None of them could actually hear the way I scream in my dreams. None of them could ever imagine the way I die when I am sleeping. Or actually everybody does, but acting like they don't. My brother sings to me the same song my mom used to sing to us every night, thinking he could remedy the pain I felt inside. But after all, I had to listen and fall asleep as if I did. Now, guys, this is the part one of our uh, story. I wish you did enjoy it very much. So see you as soon as possible in part two. Please, guys, don't forget to read them carefully. Read the story carefully and listen to my pronunciation so your pronunciation uh, gets better by time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to like and share. Thank you so much and see you soon.